This is an overview and installation guide for our new EZ conversion kits. Converting your four foot fluorescent fixtures has never been so quick, easy, and affordable. And we would know. We've been supplying fluorescents to LED conversions for years and years. You can convert your four foot fluorescent fixture to LED in just minutes. And it works with almost every fixture without any special sockets or reassembly. Convert your old or new T12 or T8 fixtures, 120 volt or 277 volt, quicker than ever possible. And you get to remove the old energy sucking ballast once and for all, because no ballast is required. We are going to go into some detail as we want to answer all your questions right up front. Show this video to your qualified electrician so they can see how quick it is to get the job done. They will also know any local codes or requirements for this kind of work. Quick, simple, and efficient. Let's get started right away. Safety and tools. Let's talk about safety first. Before you get started, shut off the circuit breaker that goes to your lighting circuit. If you cannot lock the breaker cabinet, put some red tape across the circuit breaker. In a commercial setting, use a lockout device on the breaker so it cannot be turned on while you're working. Also, don't forget to bring yourself a work light. You are shutting off all the lights, so you need to be able to see what you're doing. I always carry a work light with me and plug it in, set it on the floor, and shine it up at the light fixture so I can see what I'm doing. Just a thought. Here's some of the basic tools you're going to need, and this is just about it. A wire cutter. A wire stripper, I got this one at Home Depot and I absolutely love it, and you'll see why here in a minute. Safety glasses, put them on right away. It's always a good idea to protect your eyes. A Phillips head screwdriver, sometimes you may need a nut driver. The fixture I'm gonna show you is just a Phillips head screwdriver. And then the two little connectors that we supply and a label that goes inside your light fixture. It looks like this one. And uh, it's made to uh, let people know in the future that the light fixture has been converted and what it was converted to. Uh, always good to have. Our Easy LED T8 conversion kit is complete with everything you need to turn your fluorescent fixture into LED. It includes double-ended LED T8 tubes, wire connectors, and a warning label. In this example, we are using our four lamp kit. More information on this kit is in the link below. So let's get right into this and I'll show you how it works. We're gonna get into the body of the easy conversion right now. You're gonna find out how simple this is. I chose this light fixture because it's probably the most common. The second most common is a parabolic open louver fixture. So this fixture is going to represent a one lamp, two lamp, three lamp, and four lamp fixture. It'll be a good representation. It's a new fixture. Um, we got it because all the ones of this type in our building are way up high and it's too hard to photograph. All the light fixtures that have lenses have some way of opening them. In fact, you always have to be able to access the light bulbs from below without taking the light fixture apart. So any fixture you have on your ceiling has a way to open it. If you pull the little tabs, and you'll see them down here, just pull these little tabs on. You can take this lens and swing it open, and you can either let it hang, or you can actually take it and remove it. They just pop right out, like so, and you can take it away and expose the inside of your light fixture. So this is a four light fixture, obviously. It's already been lamped up with some T8 fluorescent bulbs, and we're gonna remove these right now. Take, pop these out. Um, sometimes you have to turn them sideways and jockey them around just a little bit. And take the lamps out, like so. Donate them to somebody that has fluorescent fixtures. They'll be real happy about that, I guarantee it. Um, or show them our video and have them uh, move up to an LED. The LED bulbs will give you a lot more light, uh, using a lot more, a lot less energy. Uh, really the way to go. We got the fixture completely open now, and this is a great opportunity to do a couple of things. First of all, maybe clean this all up, get a, a rag and some cleaner and clean all anything that's in here, clean your lenses. Uh, that's a good thing to do. In inspect the um, tombstones here on each end. Make sure they're not brittle or blackened or crumbling. And if they are, uh, send us a note. We have some replacement parts that uh, we can get for you. Um, and then here in the middle is usually a channel cover and underneath this, and to get this off, sometimes there are screws on it, but very rarely. Uh, but to get this off, just take this and compress it like so with your fingers. And then just take the cover out. Take the cover out, put it away over here. 
And what that's going to expose is the wiring for the light fixture. Now this is a four lamp fixture. It has a four lamp Osram ballast in it. This is a great ballast. And this scary looking yellow thing here is just simply a disconnect. So it actually pulls apart so you can replace the ballast in a hurry. We're not going to replace the ballast today. We're going to remove the ballast. Now before we get all crazy with the wiring here, I want you to make sure that you cut the wire in the right places and don't leave the wire too short. And if you leave it too short, well, here, take a look at this. Here's an example of what I was talking about, real visual. So whoever took the ballast out of this light fixture left too much wire on the ballast and they didn't take into account the short leads coming from the power source up in the uh, up in the ceiling. So these are really short. This is all they had. They just cut away too much. So pause for a second, take a look at what you have and then start cutting because this is a problem. This wire obviously isn't going to jump over here very fast without putting a jumper in and making kind of a messy setup. So I wanted you to see this so you had a visual reference point and we're going to go ahead and move on from here. So we're back to the matters at hand. We're back here at the light fixture and we're getting ready to make some cuts. Now I like to cut after the quick connect. There's no reason to take it out really and the wire here is too short kind of like the example I just showed you. So if you cut back in here and these wires aren't long enough to get to the connector. Well, you saw what happens. So I'm going to, uh, of course, the power is off. We talked about that earlier. And I'm going to cut the, uh, the lead wires coming in from the power. And I'm going to put them aside over here, just, just right over here. And then I'm going to take all the wires going back here to the tombstones. I'm not going to come right up against the ballast. I really don't need to do that. I already, I already checked that out and I'm pretty comfortable that I'm going to have enough wire um, to make everything work properly. So I'm cutting the wires back here and we're just going to pull these aside. No problem. Same here at the yellow. Um, we're going to take this out. Uh, now some electricians, if they're in a big hurry, they leave the ballast inside the light fixture. It's not used anymore. Um, but I'm going to take mine out and uh, it's just one screw. Um, sometimes it's a little um, it's a little nut and they come out really easy. So you can take that out and dispose it properly or give it to your neighbor, whatever, whatever works for you. So now we have all these loose wires. I like to kind of stretch everything out, see where we're all going here and oh, they don't meet. Well, that's all right. We got, we got a lot of wire here. So we have the neutral, which is the white wire and we have the black, which is the hot wire. And I've decided that I'm going to take the wires and uh, we're going to strip them back with our stripper here. It's really fast and easy to do. And uh, we're going to strip all the wires back. Oh, about a half an inch is all we need. We don't want to go back too far. We just want to make sure we make contact in the light fixture. So I'm going to take these back. Now, a lot of our electricians have reported to us when two men working together, uh, one on the floor and one on the ladder, that they were able, once they got kind of a rhythm going, um, they, got, they got this all together and they were able to convert a light fixture with our new easy tubes our double-ended power tubes in the entire light fixture, opening the clothes all ready to go in three to five minutes. So there's some significant labor change over the old way. You know, the old way we had to take the tombstones out of their brackets over here. And uh, I made this one a little long. I'm going to trim it back. So got all my wires stripped. Now I've decided that I like to have my neutral going over here to the left. So I'm going to get the uh, supplied connectors and I'm gonna connect the yellow wires. Just push them in. Uh, you push them in and they lock. Make sure the copper is exposed. Push them in and they lock. And uh, let me tell you, they don't come out. So I'm gonna put the neutral right in there. And now I've wired this side of the light fixture. It's all done. And I'm gonna take the hot and I'm gonna put the hot in one of the connectors here. I'm gonna take all the wires going over here to the right side and I'm gonna push them inside the connector. That's why we give you this type of connector it works on a four lamp fixture and a three lamp fixture and a two lamp fixture and a one lamp fixture. So all my wires are in, they're nice and stable and we're done. This light fixture is wired and ready to put in the lamps. And that's all that's to the wiring part. That's simple and quick. So the very final part here, and you can see how quick this is. I'm just gonna kinda take my wires and wires here and squeeze them together and the reason I'm doing that is I don't want to pinch them when I put this cover back over them and it's okay to kind of work this back in kind of push them back in with your fingers there squeeze it up they're sneaking out just squeeze it back together and once it's in place you're done um, go ahead and get your LED tubes 
And now LED tubes have a label on the back, so you don't want the label facing down because the light actually comes out the front. Let's talk about that. In your old fluorescent tubes, the light came out all the way around, so light would be going, hitting this, and then reflecting back. Not the most efficient thing, even though this is a white metal, it's still not that efficient. So you may have to jockey your light bulbs in a little bit to get them to go in place, no big deal. Um, they're gonna go in just exactly like the fluorescent ones came out. Work them into your light fixture. It's always a little tight, but if you just kind of work it in there, you'll, you'll get it, no problem at all. Once you got all your tubes in place, everything's locked in, um, put your lens back in place or just simply close it. Um, if you just have it hanging down from the ceiling, you know, make sure it's all secure, close the little locks, and that's it. Simple and easy. We offer single-ended LED lamps, plug and play, and this double-ended LED on our website. Please stop by and see our selection. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please send them direct to us with some photos to support at TotalLightingSupply.com. If you're watching on YouTube, please send an email direct to us as your response will be much faster. We are the Lighting Guys. At Total Lighting Supply, we understand the importance of your time. Not everyone can be a lighting expert. We're not just about selling you light bulbs, light fixtures, and light components. We're also about helping you achieve amazing and successful lighting results in your space. We hope that our video series will assist you in achieving your lighting goals.